video, I'm doing a how-to guide for downloading Chrome Beta on a Windows 7 PC. And with other newer versions of Windows, this process should be very similar, but just may be slightly different. And let me go ahead and begin. Start off, you go ahead and go to Google like I am now, and you type up Chrome Beta. And then you will click on where it says Chrome Beta from Google. And also, leave, we'll leave this link in the description below. And, and then after that, you simply hit Download Chrome Beta. But first, although this should be automatic, you will definitely have to make sure that it does say which version is for. For example, this one says for Windows 10, 8.1, 8, and 7 for 64 bit. And I'll go ahead and hit install and accept and install. And it will go ahead and take you to the screen as it downloads this in the background. And go ahead and tells you, thank you for downloading Chrome. And you can, um, and while you're doing this, you can also download the mobile app if you'd like to, which I have already done. And on the bottom, you will see a little bar that will pop up with your downloads saying, how far your Chrome beta download has gotten and it is just download for me and I'll go ahead and click on that and then it's gonna ask you would you like to run this file and if you would you go ahead and hit run And then any second now, you would get the On Your Marks page, and then it will connect to the internet and go ahead and download the browser for you, just like it is on my screen right now. And then once the download is complete, it'll go ahead and install it, and then most likely ask you to open it or just go ahead and open it. And now that it is installed, my icons are now refreshing, which means I'm getting closer. And now Chrome Beta has opened. And it is currently thinking. And now it's loading up the website for the Welcome to Chrome, in which it will ask you to go ahead and sign into Google in which if you want to um, like I am going to do you go ahead and hit sign in if not you can just hit no thanks and I'm going to sign in with my Google login which also can be your Gmail And if you were signing in, you go ahead and enter in your email address now and now your password. And now that you are logged in, your name should appear in the top right. And it will go ahead and tell you that you have signed in and it went ahead and turned on sync. So that way, if you have more products with Chrome signed in, it will all go ahead and sync together. And if you have a password for your sync, you would go ahead and hit that up and enter the password. 
passphrase right here. And that's going to end my video today. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all liked it. And so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have anything else that you'd like to um, have me do a how-to guide on, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I will see y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.